Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode and if this is your first time here my name is Melanie Kate Love I make videos every Monday and Thursday teaching you to learn to love yourself flaws and all trust your intuition and to manifest your heart's true desires make sure you click on that subscribe button and hit the notification so you're notified every single time I upload a video. Now today I want to talk to you about my number one tip for manifestation acceleration. And this has totally helped transform my life and this is something that I really would love to share with you. So my tip is all around acting as if acting as if you already have whatever you're trying to manifest into your reality. Now an example of this for instance, when I was actually manifesting my now fiance, I started acting as if he was already in my life. The way that I did this is I literally started feng shuiing my bedroom. So that meant having balance either side of the bed. So I bought two matching bedside tables, I had lamps, I cleared out my cupboard using the KonMari method, and I made space for him in my cupboard. I also changed all my linen, which is another feng shui principle. Um, fresh linen for a fresh relationship. It also recommends having a fresh mattress as well, um, which I didn't get initially, but I now have. <laughs> so literally trying to find a room that was balanced of masculine and feminine energies. I also started having a date day for myself. Every Sunday it would be a male date day. I'd go um, out and grab coffee by myself. I'd go for a walk along the beach. I would come home, I'd watch a movie. I would eat beautiful fresh food that I bought the day before at the farmer's market. I also started um, dating on Tinder. I started meeting guys. I had a date day outfit. Um, yeah, which was pretty cool because <laughs> within plus releasing blockages as well. You can't just act as if and then have resistance because it doesn't work. As I was also in addition working to release my blockages, within three months um, of releasing the final blockage, he literally showed up at my front door, which is incredible to think about. The other thing is in regards to, what else have I got here? Oh, in regards to manifesting a house, um, this is what I did to manifest my our previous house when we lived by the beach. So I started driving to areas which energetically felt good. There's some areas you'll drive to and you're like, ah, this doesn't feel right. And then I started like walking around the area in which I wanted to live and just started like trying to work out, okay, who are locals around here? Um, getting a feel for like, okay, if I would go in the morning, what kind of vibe would I see? There'd also be a lot of people like going for a surf at the beach because I live 200 meters from the beach. Um, I would see people walking their dogs. I'm like, okay, what? Then I'd visit another day in the afternoon. Okay, what's the vibe like? Okay, there's a lot of nine to five people around here. People don't really come out until like five, six o'clock. What did that look like? Trying to find a vibe and yeah, I did that for a long time. I also started going on Pinterest, making Pinterest boards as to how I wanted to decorate the new house. Peter and I are very much minimalist. So we wanted like a boho kind of chic, modern kind of vibe. I'm like, okay, so we need to buy house plants. So I started looking at where can I find house plants that spark joy for me? Um, started looking at phone plans to see, okay, can I get reception where we're living? What about internet plans? Oh, okay, we need to look at, okay, can we get a good upload and download speed? Um, looking into grocery places, where will I need to shop? So I started shopping at those places. Um, looking at, okay, where can I practice yoga? Um, I found a studio, I just didn't go. <laughs> um, yeah, in regards to what else? Oh, in regards to when I manifested my car, I started picking out um, what color car do I want because my previous car, I bought a car that was at a price I could easily afford. Um, it had low kilometers. It was from a beautiful um, elderly couple who only drove it to go get groceries and that's it. Um, but I didn't settle, I settled on the wrong color. I always wanted either a white car with black rims or a black car. Um, yeah, so now I have a black car, which I'm super excited about. 
Um, I started looking into test driving cars because like you kind of get a feel for it. I'm like, I remember my friend had a Suzuki Swift and whenever I would drive it, I'm like, I don't like the seats in this one. So I'm like, okay, that car is out. Test drive another one. Oh, that feels good. And you kind of get to fine tune your vibration. What I'm doing now in regards to manifesting my coaching business, I'm manifesting a fully booked coaching business because you can have a coaching business, but if you're not fully booked, then that's not what I'm striving for. Um, so what I have been doing, are you ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. So I have started planning my week. Um, I do that on a Friday afternoon. Um, then I would go back the night before and have a look, okay, what does my day look like for tomorrow and set myself up accordingly. So that means literally, um, having lunch ready the night before, having my breakfast, uh, smoothie, um, all the ingredients ready in my Nutribullet cup. I just have to add water, blend it, and I'm all good to go. That means getting up at 5 a.m. to go to yoga before I start work. That means once I come home from yoga, I journal. Um, well, we do meditation in yoga, but then I would also um, like pull out my, my tarot cards and I would pull out three cards for the day and I'd just start journaling what that meant to me. Um, getting sun is also very important for me because it just helps me function better mentally. Um, then after that, I, I start dressing as if I'm about to speak live with a client, which means you have to have a studio. And I turned mum this room here, my mum's house, in the spare bedroom into a studio. This behind me is the base of a bed that I literally flipped up covered it, added fairy lights, and I'm like, ah, I've got my lights, I've got two lights, and I have a ring light that I'm recording you in, <laughs> um, and I'm like, okay, I have to have good lighting, I need to have a good background, I need to have a desk, the desk that I'm on right now isn't the fanciest desk, but I'm acting as if one day I'm going to have a beautiful timber finished desk, but right now I have a desk that it can be compacted, um, with the legs can be folded up, and my brother actually used this when he would go fishing. Um, you know, it's not the nicest desk, but I'm acting as if I have set this room up as if I'm a fully booked successful coach. Ah, oh, what else have I done? Done the studio. Oh, I've, um, I've formatted my day. So I do my most creative tasks in the morning when I have the most, <clears throat> like brain capacity, like ready to take on the day. And then I use my afternoons for more administrative tasks. I've started only, actually, I've been doing this for a while. I only respond to emails from uh, 3 to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. That's the only time you can get a hold of me with emails. And I'm training you guys that, you know, I'm not going to be responding to every single one of your Instagram comments as soon as they come in. I'll respond to them when I'm posting in the morning and if I'm posting in the evening and then that's it. I'm, I've gotten to the stage where I have so many messages coming through that I'm like constantly on my phone. I'm like, this is not good for my mental health. You know, I have to set boundaries. Setting boundaries for myself is helping me, but it's also helping you to train you how I want you to treat me, if that makes sense. Um, otherwise, you guys would just walk all over me and I would just feel mentally drained because I know you probably have people like that in your life. Um, but yeah, literally acting as if. So my question for you, my beautiful MK Love fam, is how can you or how are you acting as if your intentions are already manifested into this reality? You know, if you're someone who wants to lose weight um, or want to eat healthier, how are you acting as if? Are you, do you have new workout gear? I bought new workout gear that sparks joy. You know, how are you dressing for success? Are you doing your hair and makeup or does that not spark joy for you? That's not your love language. How are you acting as if? So yeah, my loves, they're my tips and my examples for how I am acting as if to be a fully booked successful coach, how I have acted to manifest Peter, manifest our house, to manifest a car. I'm sure there's more examples than that, but yeah, I hope that helps you out on your journey. Please comment below and let me know how you're acting as if, because I would love to hear from you. And as always, I am responding. Oh, this is another one too for YouTube. I'm only responding from 7am to 8am Australian Eastern Standard Time. 
um, from the first hour that my videos are live on Monday and on Thursday because how to act as if you are um, already like I'm acting as if I already have a hundred thousand subscribers um, on MK Love Fam on my channel so how am I doing that having a set day for filming that's another one having a set day for filming set day for editing um, making sure that there's consistency with the color palette um, the branding so when you look at a post you're like oh that smells or if you look at my thumbnail you're like oh that smells and um, yeah just training people how I want them to treat me as if I'm already there so I hope this helps you oh my gosh and if you have watched to the end of this video can you write hashtag act as if and yeah that would be amazing I can't wait to hear from you I hope this helps you on your journey and if you try this can you let me know on Instagram and I will feature you over on my story because I love hearing from you I love he hearing how you guys apply what I'm teaching you I've had a lot of you comment um, recently over my Instagram and said Mel I just created the vision board because I saw your video and that makes my day and I love hearing from you it's one of my favorite things in the whole wide well anyways my love thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already subscribed hit that red subscribe button turn on the bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video and I will see you on Monday for another weekly angel guidance I love you I love you I love you goodbye